Hi again. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the CPU circuit or the processor circuit. So you know that the processor circuit is one of the most important circuits in the motherboard. So the processor circuit is, I can see that is one of the most complicated circuit in the motherboard. That's why many technicians suffer sometimes when deal with CPU circuit. But in this video, I'm going to show you step by step, by step all about processor circuit, include, including the control IC, all components that you can find in the processor circuit and how the V-core voltage is generated. Okay, so let's get started. So first, let's take a look to this circuit. Here, as you can see, we have the control IC or the CPU control IC, as you can see. So its reference, as you can see here, is ISL6265, as you can see. This is its reference, okay? And over here, we have other components, okay? So by the way, I will show you a website a very important website that you can use anytime if you want to look for the circuit diagram of any circuit or any ICs okay so for example if we want to look for or to download the circuit diagram for this IC you can just copy it so let's copy the whole reference or part number and you can just go to Google so here we go so let's paste here the part number and uh, hit enter so let's choose this result for example okay so here let's check this results so and as you can see here we have the controller the cpu controller as you can see we have isl 6265 hr tz so this is a multi-output control with integrated MOSFET drivers for AMD SVI capable mobile CPUs as you can see this is for CPUs so you can just click over here so this is the IC as you can see here so we have the characteristics of the IC so you can just go here page one by one as you can see if I check page two as you can see so this is basically the page two. This is the functional block diagram for the IC. I mean the internal of the IC. Okay, and of course you can download its data sheet if you want. Okay, so let's go back to our schematic. So here, as I told you before, this is the CPU circuit. Okay, so the first component is the control IC, as you can see okay so then we have here some mosfets so this is the first channel for the cpu and this is the second channel as you can see so this is the first channel as you can see over here and over here we have the second channel as you can see so this is the voltage that will be generated for the cpu so for every cpu circuit you will find two channels three channels four or more okay so this is the first channel and this is the second and in that channel you will find as you can see two mosfets for each channel so here we have two mosfets for this channel as you can see and also for this channel we have two mosfets as you can see so these two mosfets is controlled by this ic these two mosfets are controlled by this ic and then we have here inductor and we have another inductor. We have here PL5 and here PL8. So basically these two inductors is used here as a purpose to increase the current. And then here we have electrolytic capacitors. Here we have three electrolytic capacitors. So these electrolytic capacitors are used to filter the current. And then we will get here the V core for the CPU okay so so here as I, as I so here as i told you before so here this is the main power as you can see plus v in this is about 19 volt so in all circuits of a computer or exactly the laptop motherboard 
you will find the main power is about 19 volt it could be 18.5 18 volt 20 volt but usually 19 volt so in every circuit you should look for the 19 volt okay so the input power is 19 volt so this 19 volt as you can see here will pass through these capacitors and then will go directly to the drain of this MOSFET okay so this MOSFET will be controlled by this IC as you can see we have here the upper gate okay and then the 19 volt will not be passed here but the amount of voltage that will be passed is between 0.3 volt until 1.5 volt depending of the type of the CPU because basically the CPU usually is powered by 0.8 volt 0.9 volts and so on okay so here we, we will get for example 0.8 volt that will be passed here through this inductor in order to increase the current and through these two capacitor over here in order to fill the, the current and here we will get v core as you can see so the same for this channel also the second channel also the same thing so here we have v in as you can see over here so the 19 volt will pass through these capacitors and then goes to the drain of this mosfet and then here we will get about 1 volt 0.8 volt this voltage will pass as you can see through this component directly including the inductor the capacitors in order to filter the current and we will get here the v core as you can see so here the purpose of this mosfets and this mosfets that are connected to the ground as you can see here so these two mosfets as you can see are connected to the ground so the purpose of these two mosfets is to eliminate the residual voltage or the extra voltage in order to get here an exact voltage okay so this is basically all about the cpu circuit so basically the schematic is for hp touch smarts okay but the working principle is the same for all schematics and all laptops so i hope so that you understand a little bit the cpu circuit and please welcome to your question you can ask me anything about this video in the comments below and of course you will find very useful links in the description box and please if you like the video don't forget to like the video to share it and to subscribe if not already subscribed and please don't forget to like the video a bit because when you like the video you motivate me to create more useful videos and content for you and of course for anyone who want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome there i upload every day schematics files for many laptops and of course i can discuss and uh, help any one of you of my followers in order to solve any problem you have with any laptop or computer so thank you very much and see you in the next video